Welcome to Golden Lutz. I'm Jonathan, and today I'm going to be discussing the men's short program from Cup of China 2017. I will begin by talking about the man who is in first place right now, and that is Mikhail Koliada from Russia, who had a spectacular short program. 103.13. Only the sixth man to ever have a score over 100 in the short program. This is substantial for him. Because if he can continue this and continue to raise his scores and raise his component scores, he can seriously compete for a spot on the Olympic podium. So he should be so happy right now. And if he can continue this into... The free, I mean, he can make the Grand Prix final and go up against the best in the world. And, you know, who knows what could happen when you get 103 in the short program. I mean, that quad Lutz was perfection. I've seen a lot of people on Twitter talking about how it should have not got a high GOE because it was a jump out of steps and there was no steps going into it. But, I mean, with the quads, there's so much, you know, you have to have a chance to get into your jump. And, you know, all the others don't always have perfect steps going into their jumps, too. So I just pointing out small flaws like that. I mean, it is what it is. And um, who was it? The Russian last week, he didn't have steps going into his jump, so he didn't get quite as high uh, GOE. But, I mean, that quad Lutz was something special. I mean, I'm that's like like Boyang Jin has beautiful quad lutzes, but that was gorgeous. Like seriously. And you know everything else was perfect too. So, I mean, this is a huge step forward for him and he has that Olympic spot locked up for sure. Like there's not even a question in my mind now. <laughs> All right. So, currently in second place is Boyang Jin from China. A very good showing here, not his best, but his component score, 41.22, this could have something to do with it being in China, but that's always been pretty weak for him, and I mean, that's a great score. It's much higher than Javier Fernandez, so, you know, big props for him. He actually has the second highest component score, so that's a big deal for Boy for uh, Boyang Jin. Because, you know, the component scores have never been his strong suit, and it's better in the short than it is the long, in my opinion. He can kind of hide it a little bit better in the short, but, you know, he did great here. He didn't really have an explosive personality, the charisma that we saw from him during his Spider-Man program last year. But, you know, very good, very measured. You know, he's not trying to overdo it, and, you know, he's in a great position if... Koliata doesn't live up to his potential in the free skate, so we'll have to see what happens. And Javi, oh my goodness, setting in third right now. That quad combination, that what, what did it end up being? A triple toe, double toe? I think. It wasn't a double toe, double toe. It wasn't that crazy. But I just couldn't believe that. And then, you know, having problems with some of the other elements, too, I was I was literally in shock because he's usually pretty solid in the short program. So I just couldn't believe it, to be honest. I just like, am I watching real life right now? <laughs> so many people had trouble in this short program. And I just I literally thought he would come out and take the lead. But, you know, I think that 103.13 for Coliata may have, you know, shocked him a little bit or something. I really don't know. But in this program, I know it's like the short program version of a long that he had either last season or the season before or something. But, I mean, the music is fine, but the awkward choreography and the weird little movements... It's not my favorite. It comes off kind of odd. And he wasn't performing to his full ability here, so it really just came off being very kind of awkward. And it's, it just wasn't my favorite from him. And in fourth place is Kiji Tanaka from Japan. And I thought this was a great showing for him. I don't remember seeing too much of him in the past, but if he continues to skate like this, he could easily get that third spot on the Olympic team for 
Japan because I, you know, I thought he was great. He got great component scores. He landed his quad. So good for him. I mean, I thought I was shocked because, you know, you think of Shoma and Yuzu and you don't really think of another Japanese man that's really coming up and rising to the challenge to get that third spot. But good for him. I was so happy to see that. And in fifth, Max Aaron from the United States. A great showing for Max. I believe he was under-rotated on his first jump, which is why his score was a little bit lower. But he did... That quad Salcal was great. That was really good. And his component scores are good for him. You know, he doesn't have... He's not the most artistic skater. So it's really good to see him kind of live up to his full potential. And let me tell you... The U.S. men, you know, the men's field in the United States has such a depth right now. There's so many men that could go to the uh, Olympics. And, I mean, thank goodness we have three spots. It would be like the Japanese ladies, you know, clawing for those two spots. But there's so many men in the in the U.S. and so many in juniors that are coming up and making the Junior Grand Prix final, we're kind of like having a boom like the Russian women are, are having and the Japanese women are having. That's kind of what we're seeing with our men's skaters. And for so long, you know, it was Jason and Adam and we had no quads. And now the quads are exploding and everybody has the quads. <laughs> and it's just so exciting to see. And, you know, Han Yan from China, he did good. You know, I'm not used to seeing him perform quite as well, so that was nice to see. Grant Hochstein, I thought it was a lovely performance. His jumps are not always the best, and I'm worried that he will not be able to sustain this in the free skate because he's not quite, I don't think, as well-trained or as well-prepared as he was in the 2016 season, when to the 15-16 season when he did really, really well. And then we have Vincent Joe from the U.S., who is the Junior World Champion. And his quad Lutz triple toe with the arms above his head. Oh, my goodness. That was amazing. When he came out and did that, I was like, oh, my goodness. He's going to, like, kill this. And then he falls on the quad flip and then falls again on the triple axe. I was like, oh, no, no, no. I was so upset. And... You know, with the falls, you know, your component score, there's big breaks in the performance. And it's really sad because he has great transitions and great jumps. And he's getting there with the spins and the choreography and the step sequence. And he's so talented. And I just wish he had another year before the Olympics like Nathan had last year. Because I think he would be ready and could definitely medal but I just don't think it's going to get there in time. And as I said before in the preview show, he is definitely a long program skater. So don't ever count Vincent Joe out for the medal stand, even though he's 10 points off the medals right now. Do not count him out because he can come back. He has what? He has four quads that he's doing right now. So, I mean, he's one to watch for sure. But if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And what do you think is going to happen in the free? Leave me a comment and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.